Today's lesson is all about a fact family. A fact family contains three numbers that all work together. With those three numbers, we can come up with two addition problems and two subtraction problems. If this was our fact house, I see I'm using the numbers 2, 6, and 4. These are the only three numbers that we can use to come up with two addition problems and two subtraction problems. Well, I know that when I write an addition problem, the largest number is going to be the answer. So if I'm using the numbers 2, 4, and 6, the largest number is 6. So for an addition problem, the 6 will be my answer. So the answer is 6. This addition problem, the answer is 6. Well, I've used the 6. The only two numbers I can use now are the 2 and the 4. So I'm going to put the 2 in here and the 4 in here. Now I have an addition sentence. 2 plus 4 equals 6. Well, we've been talking about flip-flop or turnaround facts. I know I can flip around the 2 and the 4 and get the same answer. So instead of writing a 2 here, I'm going to flip it with the 4. Instead of writing a 4 here, I'm going to flip it with the 2. So my new addition sentence says 4 plus 2 equals 6. Great, we have our two addition problems. Now we need two subtraction problems. When I write a subtraction problem, the largest number always comes first. Well, the 6 is the largest number, so that's going to come first. I'll write it in both of the subtraction problems. The largest number first. Well, I've used the 6, so I only have the 2 and the 4 left to use. Well, I'm going to put the 2 here. 6 minus 2 equals, the other number that's left, you're right, is a 4. And if I try it, 6 minus 2, yes, you're right, the answer is 4. Well, I have one more subtraction problem. Remember, I can only use these three numbers. 6 minus, I've already subtracted 2, so this time let's subtract 4. 6 minus 4 equals, what number haven't we used? You're right, the 2. This is a fact family. Two addition problems and two subtraction problems using the same three numbers. Great job. Let's take a look at another one. In this fact family, we have the three numbers of 2, 5, and 3. Let's start with our two addition problems. Well, remember from the last fact family, we said the largest number in an addition problem will be the answer. What number is the largest of these three? You're right, it's the 5. So let's write the 5 as our answer. We've used the 5, so we have the 2 and the 3. Let's add those together. 2 plus 3, does it equal 5? Yes, it does. Well, let's flip-flop these two numbers to make the second addition problem. Instead of 2 plus 3, let's flip it around. 3 plus 2, does 3 plus 2 equal 5? Yes, it does. Great job. Now, now let's make the two subtraction problems. Well, before we said the largest number needs to go in front of a subtraction problem, so let's put the 5, because that's the largest number, out front. And the other two numbers we can use are either the 2 or the 3. Well, let's put the 2 in. Now our number sentence says 5 minus 2 equals, you got it, 3. 
and the last subtraction problem. 5 minus, well, we already subtracted 2, so this time let's subtract 3. 5 minus 3 equals, what number haven't we used? You're right, the 2. Now, there's lots of different ways to write a fact family. This is one way. It kind of looks like a house. Sometimes we can write them using a domino. Up here, this is where we're going to write the three numbers we're going to use. So if I look at this domino on the top, there are two dots. So two is one of the numbers we're going to use. I look on the bottom, there are four dots. Four is the number we're going to use in our fact family. And all together, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six is a member of our fact family. Now remember, I need two addition problems and two subtraction problems. Let's start with addition. Well, I know the largest number in an addition problem is the answer. Two, four, six. The largest number is six, so that's going to be the answer. Now, we have a two and a four. Two plus four equals six. Now, you know what I know about flip-flop facts. Let's flip these two numbers around. Instead of a two, let's put a four. 4 plus 2 equals 6. Now that we have our two addition problems, let's write our two subtraction problems. I remember in a subtraction problem, the largest number goes first. So I'm going to put the 6 out front. 6 minus, now remember, these are the only numbers I can use. Let's start with the 2. 6 minus 2 equals, what number haven't I used yet? You're right, the 4. 6 minus 2 equals 4. Great job. Let's write the last subtraction problem. 6 minus, well, I can't subtract 2 again, so this time let's put the 4 there. 6 minus 4 equals, you're right, 2. Great job. So we can write fact families like this using a domino. Another way you might see a fact family is a fact family triangle. And if you look at this triangle, again, you see three numbers. On the top is usually the biggest number, and I know this is the, is the top of the triangle because there's a dot there. That is the largest number. So using these three numbers, 5, 3, and 8, could you write the members of the fact family, the two addition problems, and the two subtraction problems on your whiteboard? So pause the video, write your two addition problems and two subtraction problems. Once you're finished, hit the play button and check your answers. All right, let's check your work. One of the addition problems could be five plus three equals eight. The other addition problem is the flip-flop fact. Three plus five equals eight. How'd you do? Did you have those two addition problems? Let's check the subtraction problems. Well, I remember on a subtraction problem, the largest number goes first. Well, that's the eight. Eight minus, I'm gonna start with using the three. Eight minus three equals, what number's left? You're right, the five. Eight minus three equals five. And the last subtraction problem. I always start with the largest number, the eight. I can't use the three again. I've already subtracted three. This time I'm going to subtract five. 
8 minus 5 equals, what number's left? I've used the 8, I've used the 5, the 3 is left. 8 minus 5 equals 3. How'd you do? Let's try one more. This time, the members, we have a 5, a 2, and a 3. Why don't you pause the video, write the two addition problems and the two subtraction problems on your whiteboard, and then play the video to check your work. Are you ready to check your work? All right, let's start with our two addition problems. I remember that the largest number, which is a 5, needs to be the answer of an addition problem. So I'm going to write the 5 here. Now I'm going to use the two other numbers. I'm going to put the 3 here plus 2. So I have 3 plus 2 equals 5. Great job. Now I'm going to write the flip-flop fact. Instead of a 3, I'm going to flip it with the 2. Instead of the 2, I'm going to flip it with the 3. We can flip-flop the numbers and still get the same answer. How'd you do with your addition sentences? 3 plus 2 equals 5, and 2 plus 3 equals 5. Let's write our two subtraction problems. Remember, with subtraction, the largest number goes first, which is a 5 in this case. 5 minus, let's take the 2. 5 minus 2 equals, you're right, the 3 is left. 5 minus 2 equals 3. And the last subtraction problem, 5 minus, I can't subtract the 2 again, so I'll have to subtract 3. 5 minus 3 equals, you're right, 2. Check your work. How'd you do? Great job, everyone. That's the end of our lesson all about fact families.